Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Android phone using what I've found to be one of the easiest methods available to date. This is using a program called Super One Click and it's available at the XDA Developers Forum using the link listed below. If you want help downloading and opening the program, stay tuned at the end of this video and I'll show you how to do that part of the process. Okay, before we actually start Super One Click, we want to look at the phone and make sure that we have USB debugging checked. So we'll hit the menu, we'll go to Settings, Applications, Development, and right there you see USB debugging. We want to make sure that that is checked. If you get this message, you can just go ahead and click Yes. And then once that's done, we'll plug in the phone and start Super One Click. Okay, my phone's plugged in. Remember, do not mount the SD card. I'm going to right click and select Run as Administrator. Yes. I encourage you to donate. Remember that also Super One Click requires Microsoft.NET Framework 2.0. So if you're having issues, you may need to install that. Go ahead and click Root. Now if you get an error that pops up here, the following device drivers have not been installed. Go ahead and click Yes to forcibly install them. OK, now if it asks you to reconnect your device, go ahead and click OK. And this part will take a little while. You may want to go grab a drink or watch some other YouTube videos or something because this will take 10 to 15 minutes depending on the speed of your computer and phone. Whatever you do, though, you do not want to unplug your phone. This will brick your device. So just let it complete the process even if you don't think it's doing anything. Okay, now you, as you can see, root has been installed. Would you like to run a test? Sure. Okay. And then we'll show you what it looks like on the phone itself, just so that you can verify it's been rooted. Okay, now to make sure that we've rooted successfully, we're going to go to our app drawer here. And once you're in app drawer, you should see something right here called super user. That super user means that you have successfully rooted your device. Congratulations. If you like my video, please make sure that you click the like and stay tuned for instructions on how to download Super One Click and extract it if you're not familiar with that part of the process. Thanks for watching. Okay, on this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to download Super One Click and open it up so that you can root your phone. Notice I'm getting all this information from the XDA Developers Forum. You should post your questions here. I'm not really an expert. Uh, but if you go to this website here, which is shortfuse.org, then it will give you a link to download Super One Click. And there it is right there. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And we'll have to select Free Downloading. And then we're going to have to wait 60 seconds. Okay, it's almost done downloading here. Then we just have to enter in the phrases here. And now that that's done, it gives us the option to download the file. We'll click download the file. And then we'll save the file. All right, now we go to our download location, and you'll see Super One Click here. We can right click on that in Windows 7, and I'm just going to choose Extract All. This gives me the choice of extracting it right here where I am, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Pulls them all out there in another folder. We'll open that up. 
And then once we have that open, we will run super one click.exe.